Here we have a tri uh, similar triangle question, um, sort of using something called the midpoint theorem, which uh, I'll explain in a minute. Um, midpoint theorem to me seems pointless because you can just apply similar triangles to this situation where you've got a triangle um, inside another triangle. Um, these are parallel, so these angles are all the same. So this angle here is the same as this angle. These two are the same, and these this angle here is in both triangles. That tells us that these this triangle CNM or CMN and ABC are similar triangles because they have all the same angles. So one is just an enlargement of the other. And as soon as you realise that because M is a midpoint of AC, um, that this triangle at the top here is half this triangle at the bottom here um, you'll know that because this is 5 this must also be 5 because they must be the same because the scale factor this one this bigger triangle is twice the smaller triangle so it's got to be 5 and 5 now there is um, a midpoint rule to do with um, these sort of shapes but it doesn't add any more than you already know from similar triangles once you know they're similar, you can do anything you need to do here. So from there, um, we know that the, the, the perimeter is 30 centimeters. So 15, uh, 13 plus 5 plus 5 and plus x plus x. We're trying to fi actually find MA. Um, but a MC is the same because M is the midpoint of AC. And that all adds up to 30. So we've got 18 and 23 plus 2x equals 30. Um, take away the 23, we get 7. Divide by the 2, we get 3.5. 3 marks.